What is going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here. Listen, today we are coming back with, uh, we're going to do some tips, alright? I, I feel like, you know, I like the longer videos, short, uncut things, but you know, I, I got to get some value. So today I want to give you a tip on basically starting out. You, it's going to be two tips because you got to have the two to really maximize what you're doing. Tip number one that I would recommend for any and every marketer, figure out who you are. You know, figure out what you're doing, figure out the goal that you want to accomplish. And it's vital because if you're out there just pushing, 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 that's basically all you're doing is pushing. All right, the people that are watching you and the people that could be your your followers or your downline or your signups, however you want to word it, they're watching you and they're seeing what you're doing. And when you have no consistency, you have no value, you, you're not giving them something to feed on, they're more than likely not going to sign up. Hence why most people don't get signups. So, tip number one for the day. Your big chips loves you, man. And I, I want to really help you and I want to give you some value that's going to help you today. So, tip number one, figure out who you are. Alright? Figure out what it is you want to do, what you want to accomplish, so that when I ask you this question, you can better answer. What is your niche? What is it that you're really out to get? Who is it that you're after? All right? So tip number one is to figure out who you are so that you can ask yourself, who is it that you want? All right? I've got people in other group in another group that I help. And, you know, one thing, I'll, I'll use one of them, is he's in the restaurant industry. And he knows a heck of a lot about it. He knows the ins, the outs, everything. But the one thing that, that we disagree on is that I would, I would utilize that. You know, I would actually very much get into using the restaurant industry as a way for me to make money. For instance, you know, you look at most, you know, 18 to, we'll say 23 year olds, they're all about the party, you know. Where am I going to get my next beer? When am I going to smoke my next joint? You know, oh, party, 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 party. You know, that's 90% of your wait staff or kitchen staff, whatever. You know, the people that are a little older that have been there for a while, they're more set and they're more stable. They're not running amok trying to find the next party. Most of them are having kids or, you know, they're, they're looking to be a grown-up now. So those people are looking for more so you can attract those people but you got to know how to attract them you know and then there's just the overall group of people who basically are you know they're in the industry they either want to move up they want to go into management and they're looking for ways to better their sell a lot of them watch sales videos you know, and they do things like Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar's, and they, they figure out how to talk to people. But the things that, you know, the Tony Robbins and the Ziglar's and all these leaders that don't understand the industry, they don't know the schematics, the ins and the outs of a daily workflow, and they can't talk to, the, to that exact person and reach them in a way like someone, like my boy could who's been in the industry for a long time, he's in management, he's a co-partner. So, you know, utilize what you know to your advantage because there's always a way to bring people into a business. There's always a way to get a sign up and it's just figuring out who you are, figuring out what you know, and figuring out how to use that to utilize yourself to getting a sign up, right? So that's tip number one. Tip number two, and this goes out to all my people, especially in ILN, you know, that are doing the million dollar day. 
because one thing that the million dollar day does is it helps you to rid yourself of procrastination it gets you to a point where you're not sit there pushing things back and saying I'm gonna do it later uh, this that and the, you're doing it now and it's teaching you to take care of that it's teaching you what the victory you get from accomplishing all that stuff that you've not done so I ask you to add this into your uh, repertoire basically but make a goal for daily actions and I know it sounds so simplistic and it's like well uh, that's not a tip is it <laughs> yep you you don't think it's a tip you know and I know I know you're saying that I, I, I see you right here I can see you none here that's not a tip okay so let me ask you are you accomplishing your goals are you getting them done in a timely manner are you doing it daily are you making sure that your business is as smooth as it can be then let me ask you are you getting signups are you getting leads are you getting any of the stuff that you you want and I will go to say probably 90% are not doing that you wake up you may have a cup of coffee you may not you know you you sit there you jump on Facebook first and you probably sit there and waste probably I'd, I'd, I'd go to bet about an hour of your day right there you know you get sucked into the vortex and that becomes your workflow then you figure out after an hour of being on Facebook that you might need to do something so uh, let's see maybe I'll do some training so you spend an hour or two doing some training once that's done you know you're you're eating and you're taking a break or you know whatever and then you come back to do some work and you get back on Facebook now most most of you are sitting there going yeah you're right big chips you know, you waste half the day, if not all the day, doing stuff that's not going to make you money, doing stuff that is not going to add value to your life, and you sit there and waste your time. Your time is money, and you need to learn to maximize your dollar by setting a schedule. You know, set a daily task of what it is you want to do. So tip number two, make goals for the day. What are the things that you need to accomplish to say that your business tasks are taken care of? So for me, I, I, I know my task is shooting a video. It's blogging. It's uh, sending out to my email, send, uh, syndicating to my groups, syndicating on uh, G+, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and then syndicating through the blogger pingers. So, I mean, I know what my tasks are, and it roughly takes me two hours a day yes I just said that two hours a day what that allows me to do is to wake up in the morning get me some me time put me on some uh, I, I have a manifesto that I recorded you know and I listen to myself reading this manifesto and it gives me encouragement it builds me up I spend that time in just in prayer or solitude you know, whatever it is you want to call it, you know, but I, I put myself in that, that special place and I give myself that time to really, you know, I guess as a hippie would say it, get the energy from the earth. Let the universe reign inside me. But I spend that time to really get myself prepared for what's about to happen. You know, I'm about to go on Facebook. I'm about to deal with some stupid people. I'm about to deal with people that are just idiotic. And I don't want them to affect my business. And I don't want them to affect my helping you or, you know, your friends or anybody else that may watch my videos to get a little bit of guidance or help or tips. So what I do is I make sure that I put myself in a good trance, a good state. 
and I, I made sure that I'm ready to handle it so that I don't get sucked into that vortex you know but my goal first is to make sure that my tasks are done so I make sure that I do my blog posts or I write something out today like I'm working so I didn't get to do it this morning you know I spent all day in the truck but you know I sit there and reflect while I'm in my vehicle I'm an automobile university I got something playing where I'm learning and feeding my mind and I constantly try to figure out something that can help you so that's what you should be doing two hours a day should be your work day of getting your daily task done then write down the you know write this on your notes take another hour and plan your day for tomorrow like if you're blogging daily and you're having trouble figuring out something to do go find something to blog about go do a training go listen to a, a webinar go find something on Google Trends whatever it is if you want to do viral blogging go find something viral that you can talk about something that makes you go man that was crazy but three hours a day and your week's done you're planning your days you're scheduling your days you're setting goals to accomplish you're setting a time frame to get them done then you can get on Facebook and run your mouth like I do 24 hours a day and not worry about it you know you've done your daily thing and then you get somebody like you know Vincent or Mark or depending on what opportunities you're in to send you an email and say you know this is a good webinar send it out to your list 10 minutes blast it out you're done you're back to BSing around with your friends and family right so that's my that's my tips for the day really figure out who you are so you can figure out where you want to go with your business and who you want to attract you know, figure out your niche whatever that is you know test the waters to figure out what you like and what you don't like number two schedule your time make goals achieve those goals every single day you know what you got to do most of it and and that's the that's the sad part about a nine to five you know, working a nine to five job you work maybe four hours of the, of the day the rest of the four hours you sit there on the phone or you're on Facebook or you're online doing something stupid unless you work in a factory and then you of course you guys sit there but you know you can get your job done fast if you would just do it you know and that's that's one reason I started working from home is I, I followed the four-hour work week to a point where I would do a four-hour work day I would go into the I'd go into shop and I'd be like, okay, I got four hours to get this done. I'm going to knock it out and I'm going to go to the freak home and still get paid. Why be there? I got everything done. So make a goal, plan your day, and, and that's how you do it. All right? So I've rambled too long. Your boys done broke the rules first day of the week. I go, man. But hey, there's two tips on here. It's valuable. Don't fault me for going 13 minutes. All right? One love. I'll see you guys on the other side. It's your boy Big Chips. I am out.